I think that I think that we all think that like things have to be immediate and things have to be now. Like uh-huh. now, 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 now. Like I'm gonna come out of surgery and I'm gonna look like I'm supposed to look, you know, 12 months down the line. Just relax, calm mm-hmm. down, it's gonna be fine. Yes, that's normal. Welcome to Bus Mob TV. In the spirit of living our life with intention, me and Greta Nance found some time in our day to pause grab some coffee, and chat about what's going on inside Bus Mob. We'll answer some questions, spend some time with a special guest, and share ways to be more intentional in your daily life. Hop on in. (laughs) Woo, it smells like hot garbage. (laughs) We chose to park next to the dumpster today, so we are going to keep the windows up. And it smells so bad. I mean, can you turn, like, the vent off for the smelliness? No, I'm just curious. (laughs) That's okay. Still worth <laughs> coming out here, <laughs> grabbing some coffee, grabbing someone to hold you accountable. That's right. And motivate and inspire you. And that's what you do for me. Oh, thanks. And that's what you guys do. Uh-huh. And you do that for me. Good. We try. Speaking of inspiration. Yeah, let's get to it. This week, I have been working on communication skills. And it's funny, like looking back, I think we talked about this. Like it's something no one teaches you how to do. Like you have like science and physics and language arts, but it's not like, Hey, how do you communicate well with another human being? Mm-hmm. There should be a class on that, but it's there's like not. psychology. Like, I mean, we could choose to take that in college, yeah. but they should teach like psychology, basic psychology mm-hmm. courses in elementary and middle school too. Mm-hmm. Ooh, yeah. We would be so much better at this. Be so smarter. <laughs> But we're not. So that's why we got to read books. um, I'm reading this book. It's called I Hear You. And it's really good. It talks about learning to validate other people's feelings. And up until there was an ant. Sorry. Overreaction. (laughs) Um, Up until like two months ago, I never like it was totally a blind spot. I never realize that I don't validate other people's feelings when they're talking to me. I'm like working up what I'm going to say next. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, well, if you only understood how I felt, then you wouldn't be feeling that way. And it's like, "Mm, that hasn't worked for 16 years. Mm -hmm. So now I'm like, I need to learn how to talk to people in a way that they feel heard. Self-awareness is the first step. And that's what (sighs) you being self-aware to, to realize there's a blind spot is so helpful. It's so tough. It's so hard. Yes, it's yucky. Self-awareness is also the worst. <laughs> I was a much ha- happier person when I was oblivious mm-hmm. in, a, in a certain way. Like, not long-term happy. Right. But um, I'm so glad you've chosen that to dig into. Like, I like how we're almost, what I'm realizing is, like, picking a wheel of life per week. Mm-hmm. And each one of us are picking, like, different pieces of our wheel of life to kind of remake sure yeah. that we're doing the best we can. And so... You kind of diving into relationship or your self growth. Yeah, self growth is this. Is like I. leeching on to me. So the things that you have taught me are really good. Thanks. This week. I can also uh, use help in the listening department. So <laughs> we all I, could. You lend me that book when you're done. Okay. I have been trying to do all of those things, some too, but a wheel of life that for me that I have definitely not paid much attention mm-hmm. to in a good couple months. I mean, always a little bit here or there, but nothing like, hey, Greta, it's time to get back on it, Mm -hmm. is health and fitness. I think that's what its mind's called. Like, And that means lots of different Mm -hmm. things. Like Sometimes it can be the diet side. Sometimes it can be, uh, uh, am I taking the right vitamins? But Vitamins. Vitamins. um, I'm not doing any of those things. But um, I've been healthy-ish. And the ish is not working in my favor right now. (laughs) So I've never truly ignore it and just go crazy for weeks and weeks and weeks because I would feel immediately terrible. Mm -hmm. But I have definitely turned down the knob on my intentionality when it comes to like my workouts have gone for 45 minutes to 30 to 20. And a lot of times lately, it's like a 10 minute meditation. (laughs) And then yeah, a 10 minute stretch. And let me tell you, I can feel it in my pants. And it's (laughs) not feeling so good right now. So not I'm trying not to spiral. Mm -hmm. I, I keep having this illusion in my head. That's not the right word. This picture in my head of I'm turning around a cruise ship. (laughs) I'm not relating myself to a cruise ship, but I'm like, I've been doing this for five days and nothing is happening yet. And I'm, I tend to like, be like, I'm doing the wrong thing. Or let me try keto or let me like dramatically. And so this is a cruise ship. I'm just slowly (laughs) slowing it down and then I'm turning it back in the right direction. So if I amp up too much, it always fails me. I don't like the way this 
cruise ship is going and Oof. I'm going to turn it around. <laughs> so, oh yeah, I brought my, mm, one of my favorite one tools. So I, I have the older model and Jenny has the newer model. We both have this hydrate. It's H I D R A T E hydrate water bottles. So you can it's get them on ones. Amazon. Um, I know, look, mine has a little mealy on it, but it syncs to your phone with a hydrate app and it counts your water you drink throughout the day. Mm -hmm. This really helps me. Like, me too. And if I check in with it, it's really fun throughout the day too. Like Jenny and I can challenge each other and we can watch each other's progress mm -hmm. on the app, which is you really can cool. with each other on it. But man, drinking more water makes me feel better overall. Mm -hmm. So I've recommitted to 100 ounces a <sighs> day. And this is a big thing that helps me. So imagine if you're in China, um, they're doing hy hyaluronic acid filler injections mm -hmm. filler. into your ear to make them stick out a little bit. And they're mm -hmm. calling it like elf ears. Mm -hmm. And the idea is when they stick out a little bit, it makes your face look slimmer. Yep. And, and like contoured, mm -hmm. you know, like I get it. Like when I wear my hair back like this, the illusion a lot of times is to be more pulled back. Like I, I need to see some pictures of that. So hopefully Casey will There's a lot of put them. some pictures on there like it's that. It's pretty amazing. But I think it's the same kind of concept as this whole threading thing. Mm -hmm. Not eyebrow. When I said it the other day, Jenny's like, like threading your eyebrows. I'm like, not exactly. Like I'm sure you guys have seen them. I think they, back in the day were called like PDO threads. Like the people are actually, you hook like a thread under your skin and hook it to another side of your under face. Like the cat to do think. Look, I have so much Botox. I can barely pull it. But I, I don't, like, I shouldn't say this because I am not a medical expert, but threads have come in and out of favor over the last 20 years. And they always go back out of favor hmm. because they don't last. Mm. They cause other issues. Mm. Like, if they were that great, it would be like filler and we would still be doing them. But mark my words, in six more months, <laughs> they'll be back out again. But, like, people used to put threads through their face. Ooh. Then they break. Oh, so or they there's like one things down and one in, up. Yeah, like there's just you can't go back in there and like easily surgically remove them. And I'm like just not mess. digging these Instagram pictures that I see of these ladies. Like they look, it's bizarre. It doesn't look cute. I don't know, so I, like it. I am all about like lifting. Like I do wish something would do this, but I think that I'm not putting cool. a thread under my skin. No, yeah, me neither. <laughs> What's popping off in community life this week? In community life, I have noticed uh, there was a thread going on. Let me make sure I say it right. Is it VSG? VSG. Sounds right. It's a gastric sleeve. Mm -hmm. And it was women who have lost like a lot of weight. And they were posting pictures of like their after photos mm -hmm. after their weight loss and having surgery to mm -hmm. remove the skin and the tummy tucks. And it was just really cool that a bunch of women were like, I've had it done. I've had it done. Mm -hmm. And we're willing to share like their before pictures and mm -hmm. after pictures. Because again, like when you lose a lot of weight, you have a lot of excess skin. And I can't imagine how how hard personally it would be for me to post mm -hmm. that photo. So kudos to you guys for like having the balls to do it. Yeah. It's like similar to what we're all talking about, mm -hmm. but a little different. Like I get it. I would want to be surrounded by other people who had lost a similar amount yeah. of weight or something like mm -hmm. that because large weight loss comes with its own subset of issues yeah. and concerns and types of surgery. Mm -hmm. So I love that they feel comfortable in mm -hmm. Boss Mob. And that you found each other in there. Yes. And like, each time you post something, you literally are paying it forward to someone mm -hmm. else. You don't know who else is reading that, who needed to hear that's that right. or see, oh man, if she could do it, I can do it. So thank you. And that's really cool. I've learned a lot about like the sleeve and the whole thing. Mm -hmm. When we were coming up with topics of like <laughs> the themes that we've been seeing this week, I wanted, Jenny and I wanted to talk about eyelashes mm -hmm. <laughs> that got vetoed, I got mine but off. it did make us think like there are more and more beauty, yeah. non-surgical treatment, like Lip filler. Yeah, lip filler topics. And I'm like, I'm very excited to hopefully create some kind of subgroup mm -hmm. for just that. Yes. Because I know a lot of people have questions about it. Like, I'm sorry, you're not just interested in your mm -hmm. boobs and nothing else. Yeah. Face. Yeah. Oh my God. Put a bag on her. Head. <laughs> um, everything looks good. Butterface. Oh, She's a butterface. Oh, one. I know. Okay. What the oh, that's me. Like, I want to invest in all the things. So I am hopefully going to get permission and help from this one here to create kind of a non-surgical or beauty, not, not quite beauty, but like skincare, skincare treatments, 
not surgery. Yeah. Let's all come over here and share resources on other things. Mm -hmm. So I really hope that we can get that launched in the next week. Yeah. So people can move on over there if they not move, like stay in the main group for sure. But pop on over. But if you want to come over and like specifically deep dive Mm -hmm. about some of the things we've tried or we've loved, Mm -hmm. or I want to hear what everyone else loves, like we can learn from each other. And I like that for me, I don't know a whole lot about skincare. No. And like, I'm yeah, <laughs> I'm Re- learning Re- Re- Vaseline what? on your face. <laughs> um, but no, I like that. I, even I can go to that group and be yeah. like, I can search what's good for rosacea. I don't yeah. have rosacea, but like what's good for oily skin. I have oily skin. <laughs> She's got rosacea. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> um, but like things like that, because I don't know. There's so many options out there. Yes. So I don't ever know, like, is that right for me or is yep. that right for me? Because it's the same color. Yep. I just don't know. Yep. And like, I legit trust the ladies in Boss Bob. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Are you ready? <clears throat> well, yeah. I mean, I should say. Am I ready? Because this Are is, you ready? Because I got a skincare one, obviously. But I also first like to hear Jenny's unusual take on skincare question. So this was in Boss Mob this week, and it was a good one. My skin is extra shiny when it's super hot out. What moisturizer can I use that's not going to make me look like a disco ball? <laughs> <laughs> I disco ball. am right there with you. But what would you say? Like, you have oily skin I do said so mm-hmm. do you feel like a disco ball when it's like really hot out I don't feel like a disco ball I wish okay. I did because that sounds fun mm, but it's not, it's not cute I don't want to look like a disco ball and no. feel like a disco ball Mm-mm. um no I, I don't I don't know um you know those like patches those oily things yep I've never no. used them no what are you talking about those like oil sheets you oh, can yeah. get oh yeah I have those I've seen people use those yes but other than that Blo- um, Jenny is referring to blotting papers everyone you know just those little case- blue sheets <laughs> that you stick to your just face just in case <laughs> blotting papers work ish but they certainly don't do like they don't I, ha- I can if I'm outside and I really need them I would use them like every 30 minutes mm. but I think what she was Wrong asking <laughs> and I love this is like I also need like I am oily too mm-hmm. but I need moisture like, oh, yeah, I need moisturizer, but I, I just that. don't want to be shiny. And so, like, I love... I've talked before. I love Neocutis' Bio Cream, like, when I'm really feeling dry and when it's today. dry outside. But I brought my suggestion because I knew this question was coming. Um, the Bio Gel is a great hydrator for summertime. Like, look at this. So, Jenny would go... <laughs> no. But it's a gel moisturizer. Like, look. You oh, can that's really, like you high um, and so it almost too has I like a, it. yeah, it almost has like a cooling. Oh, I touched my nose. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm really good at this. <laughs> it, it is a moisturizer without being creamy. So it is fantastic Ooh. for summer. Like if that. you have rosacea, if you are oily, or if you are acne prone, or if you are a dude, because for some reason dudes love this stuff, I think because they don't want to be creamy and it goes good on beard hairs or something like that. Yeah. I don't know. But the Neocutis Bio Gel is a really good option for you. I um, have that in my drawer. I almost used it this morning because I thought we were talking about it, mm. but I didn't. I put on bio oh, cream. Well, but what, I want to. Yeah. And now that I felt it, See, I it's like it's so even much blowing easier. on it. Like it feels almost like I put mm-hmm. aloe on. Yeah. So for the summertime, it's really nice. It's very light. But it still has all of those growth factors and other things that the it. true night creams have for anti-aging. So if, again, you have sensitive or like mm-hmm. acne, rosacea, skin, and you do, you do not want to use a heavy cream, this is a great option for you. <laughs> Jenny just asked what highlighter is. Isn't it? We a... are going to do a makeup tutorial <laughs> at some point, and it's going to be great. Remember when the drag queen gave us a makeup tutorial? I did. That was a very fond moment I for me. I love that. My I um, do anything right, though. fairy godmother is absolutely a drag queen. Like, my internal monologue is a drag mm. queen. Like, remember, I even sang to Julian like a drag Happy queen. Birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday, dear Julian. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> we're getting very derailed. Yes. Um, but we're back because we have another question from the Boss Mob community that I actually think would be really helpful for people. So are you ready? I am. I'm finding conflicting information on the internet. How do I know what to really expect after surgery? Very normal question. Very normal. Here, we hear all it, the time. Yes, we do. And we actually interviewed a bus mob babe and an Amelia patient. Mm-hmm. Her name's Danielle. And she talks about setting realistic expectations for mm-hmm. like what to expect, you mm-hmm. know? And I love the way she framed it up. And I think it'll be really helpful for you guys to check it out. Awesome. 
Thank you for coming to hide and chat with us. <laughs> no problem. I am hiding. Yes, you are factually correct. Good. Well, thank you. Well, you have to let us know if there's something specific you want to make sure to cover, mm -hmm. you know, that like stood out to you in your story or your experience. Like I, I, I told Jenny the other, the other day, I called you up. You had just had, you had just had um, a revision. And um, I remember I saw you in the office, like, the day after you had it done yeah. and you were like, I was like, Whoa. Um, <laughs> and I, I called you up. I don't know. I was like a couple months and I'm like, will they ever feel like they're mine? Mm -hmm. And you were like, yes, I promise you they will. Mm -hmm. And I was so tense and worked up that whole entire time Yeah, that this was just, you know, it's, it's, you know, everything is going to be okay. But you don't know everything's going to be okay. And people say, trust the process, trust the process It's normal. It's normal. It's normal. And, you know, just getting past that was hard. Was there yeah. anything you did specifically to help? Like, I feel like most women have a little bit of control mm -hmm. issues because we have to control everything. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah maybe <laughs> yeah, me. I and so I get that. Yeah. It's easier for me to go through it in here because I can look every yeah. day and be like, do these look mm -hmm. okay? Okay, see yeah, you later. That's true. But I get and, how hard that is for someone else. Yeah, and that's and that's the thing. Like, um, it, if, if I had access to the nurses and to the doctors every day, I'd be a okay, but instead, you know, you have this, um, a friend of mine talks about red ocean and blue ocean mm -hmm. and, uh, red ocean is like the bad information and things like that. And it's really easy to get mired in red ocean. Mm -hmm. And I think paying attention to where you get your information from, you know, like, what was it? Everything on WebMD leads to Crohn's disease you know, <laughs> and or cancer. cancer. <laughs> or cancer. Um, and, you know, just making sure that you heed the advice that you're given and your journey isn't someone else's journey. Mm -hmm. And it's important. Your surgeon isn't someone else's surgeon. Um, you know, it's, it's, that's the biggest thing. And also chilling like just like you know just relax calm mm -hmm. down it's going to be fine yes that's normal mm -hmm. i mean i i i i think that i think that we all think that like things have to be immediate and things have to be now like uh -huh. now 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 like i'm going to come out of surgery and i'm going to look like i'm supposed to look you know 12 months down the line and what y'all are doing with um, Amelia Academy and, and, and setting expectations, because I think not a lot of, um, not a lot of uh, surgeons and offices and, and practices set the expectation like, hey, this is what your scar is going to look like now. This is what your scar is going to look like here. This is what your scar is going to look like. You're not going to have your results until this, you know, and what to do, like, it has been, I, I mean, whenever I felt like I would just go on Amelia Academy and I just like watch video. Okay. And then it's like, okay, cool. I, I'm not Greta. Uh, I'm not Jess. Um, and I, I like, I have to, I have to accept that I am me. This is my journey, but here's what I could expect along the way. Yeah. So I, that, I mean, yeah. I mean, and th those, those videos are just yeah. And cause it's really, you know, you're coming, you're coming down off the anesthetics and, you know, you've had some pretty heavy duty narcotics, you know, coming out of recovery and people discount all that, mm -hmm. that a lot of, for a lot of people who are just having like routine little surgeries that can make them a little bit like anxious and not feel right. And that's easy to transfer into like, Oh, Hey, you know, something's wrong or no, it's, it's just like this perfect storm of stuff mm -hmm. so yeah I like how you said like everyone's journey it's different like you can't look at everyone and be like mine's gonna be like that or mine's gonna be like that because for, I mean for each of us we've had two separate kind of breast augmentations mm -hmm. two mm -hmm. separate experiences so I like that you went into it knowing that and we're back <laughs> um she's like OG bus mom yeah too which is really cool like she started in 2014 yeah like I wasn't in bus mob in 2014. <laughs> like, so, cool. so that is really cool. Mm -hmm. And I love how she's had different procedures. Mm -hmm. She's paid it forward. She stayed in the group even after her procedures. And like, that was super helpful for women, I think, 
in being patient mm-hmm. and trusting the process. That's right. I also loved how she talked about how helpful Amelia Academy was. That's mm-hmm. our free app that you can download Android or iPhone, but it's really cool because you can watch videos like on breast lifts, breast Mm -hmm. augmentation, tummy tucks, mommy makeovers, filler, Mm -hmm. Botox, whatever it is. And she used that so heavily as a resource before coming to the office. And she's like, I already know that answer. I already know that answer. Yeah. I thought that was really cool. And I swear to God, we did not tell her to say that. (laughs) No, we really didn't. But we made it to be like that helpful. Like we literally went through Bus Mob and we're like, what is the most common? What are the most common questions? And then we filmed on them because if 20 other people are asking, you might want to know too. Mm -hmm. And so we're continuing to add to them as your new questions arise as well. So Mm -hmm. she's really cute. I like her a lot. Her hair is pretty. Yes. Thank you, Danielle. (laughs) Well, thank you guys for tuning in to this episode of Bus Mob TV and check out our resources. Like I Hear You is a great book. My Hydrate Water Battle app, Mm -hmm. highly recommended. My Summertime Moisturizer, Biogel. You can always get it at Real Simple Skin. Dot com. That's right. And for only the ladies in Bus Mob, obviously use code Bus Mob mm-hmm. for 10% off. Yay! So if you guys want to hear more about like our inspirational stories or what we talk about or what we're working on in our wheel of life, you should check out our it's on Instagram mm-hmm. on Bus Mob's Instagram, and it's Bus Mob's Breakfast Club. Mm-hmm. And we do it every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 8:40. Yep, we just changed the time. Change the easier. time. Yeah. So you have five extra minutes to go into work, and so we're not late for our meeting. Yeah. If you're home alone or don't have a team of people around you who you look up and inspire you, join us. Mm-hmm. Like, we're kind of trying to create our own. Like, yeah. Lift ourselves up mm-hmm. and learn some new shit in just 15 minutes. That's right. And if you miss it or you're not available in that time frame, mm-hmm. and this is Eastern Standard Time, mm-hmm. um, we share it to our IGTV on Bus Mob's Instagram. So if you miss it, you can still watch it whenever mm-hmm. you want. So yes, you can. Thanks for check doing that. that. Yep. We got to get on Bus Mob now. Yep. Back to work. Adios. Thanks so much for watching. To join Bus Mob, shop for swag, or follow me and Greta on social, click the links below. See you next time.